what I was saying about the it was color. I'm like, you know, that's a show I grew up watching. I mean, like before all these celebrities like Wayne Brothers and um, Jim Carrey and J Lo and all of them came yep. in. We going live, Riley? Yep, we're already live. Oh, we're already we, live? Hi. Yep, already live. It, it's like a minute till. So, uh, what yep. Then hit share. There you go. Uh, so we have the bear cubs, and let me let me change this angle a bit. All right. There we go. Now we have friend bear number two, or another friend bear. Yeah. We could call her squirrel, but. <laughs> so we try not to use real names. So we try to, you know. Yeah, but uh, Pe- this, this one. Oh, they know my name. Pe- yeah, yeah. Peyton some stuff lies says my name. All right. Alrighty. So we also have a live studio audience. Woohoo! Sitting Not here. Just, I don't know. Bro, this dragon. So. Oh, there's pickles. Good morning, Bear Clan. Would you like the torch? If she can't use that much, she won't be able to use the torch. Ooh, there we go. There's some flames for you, Charlie. So, today, you guys are crazy. Um, Noises all get out. So today we're going to do something a little different. Um, you want to show them what we got? We have a Grogu uh, nonstick skillet that came with pancake batter. We have a Darth Vader that came with pancake batter. And we have another Grogu cast iron skillet. Um, I was going to do the whole unboxing, but I went ahead and washed them and got that got, um, got them washed and got a real quick stovetop season on them so we can start using them. Um, Sit one one thousand, how you doing, buddy? What's up, bud? He said Charlie doesn't count as a live audience. Ah! <laughs> uh, Jennifer, how are you doing? Jennifer, hi. And. Would my live studio audience like to say something to the camera? No. <laughs> At least wave hi. Hi. See, that's not me. Bowl. Good morning, James. How are you doing? I have a bowl. So. And I have three mixes. We're going to make some. Yep. So each each one of these little skillets, I got them at Walmart for like five bucks each, and uh, or six bucks, or whatever it was. And um, we decided we're going to do the, um, I don't know, I guess an unboxing, which I already unboxed them, and washed them, and clean, seasoned it real quick. But we're going to do a pancake cook, and we're going to utilize both griddle plates. So you guys, maybe you've seen this before where we did the uh, heart shape for Valentine's Day. Or the other live when we were up in Ohio. And we did the, um, where we put the pancake batter in the cast iron skillet and then we flipped it over onto the other one. Uh oh. Cub went Lucille Ball. Oh. Yep. Yes, I did it last night. Thank you. She did that last night. Six dollars. I would be really suspicious. Of these cast iron, you know, um, they're they're they are China made. Uh, there's no way around that. But uh, I mean, they're China made. They're just something cool. They're novelty. They're not, um, you know, they're not going to be the highest quality like locked or set. Good morning, Tony. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, Tony. Um, but you know, it's something fun with the kids to do like pancakes or something with. Um. So uh, we've we've had some of these China made ones and uh, and the the heart shaped ones. We did the BB-8 and uh, another Vader one, and I mean they're good for for just every now and again cooking. I don't really use them a whole lot, but we don't have a trash can. Um, no. Okay, well, let's run in and get a baggie. 
Run in and get it back. Yeah. Okay. So, how's everybody doing today? Okay. Are you ready for this? We got a simple discussion because we got three of the batteries. We got to do three of the eggs, three of the. So uh, this is on a this is on a timer. So my live studio audience is is watching this. We're trying to get him in on some of these videos. Um. So I can. This is a second camera angle, which is there. And if I if I hit this one, then it shows both of them, which is a good view. And then somehow I can add a background, but I don't know how to do that. So if I touch, this is all touch screen. So if I touch this and sit one one thousands, I do like like large cast large cast iron. I do too. That is uh that's my go to. Um, I'm always looking at large and with the um lodge store in concord it's about 45 minutes away um it, it's hard to like look at a another skillet like at walmart or target or anything like that and say you know if it's not lodge i can go up here and get this one whatever so um but lodge is always my go-to um i i will say that one of my uh newer newer to me favorite pans is my uh, great grandma her pan. Yep. And that's a gate mark, uh, like ancient company, uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh. It's got a ghost mark on it. It's pretty, pretty awesome. But, uh, let's see. Okay. Everybody sounds like everybody's doing good. 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 Y'all ready for the new year's? Because I have half. I have the half. I'll See, uh, you almost bought the 10-inch Lodge deer skillet. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You've seen that one yeah. with the deer head on the back? Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one. Um, the one that I, I would absolutely recommend is the uh, the griddle one. It's like the moose. That one, that is like the one of the most awesomest pans, that a 10-inch uh, flat griddle. because. Right. Perfect for eggs, um, pancakes. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. You know, I, I do all kinds of stuff on that one. Yeah. Grandpa ate pretty well out of black iron this week, last week. <laughs> he actually, we made sauerkraut and a pork loin and sauerkraut. And uh, the old man looked at me and he said, son, he goes, how do you get your sauerkraut like that? He goes, it ain't got no bite to it. It's just, I said, it was just a jar of kraut, an onion, and pork loin, and some cast iron. Uh, yep, hand me down from the grandparents would be the best. Absolutely, man. Uh, I, I get into all that uh, heritage stuff, and uh, I, I really like that. You know, thinking about my my grandpa ate out of that probably his whole life, and my great grandparents were cooking in that. In the 1800s, you know, the 1870s. Uh, need to pick up some black eyed peas and collards. Yeah. I was thinking about that today or this morning. I was like, oh, I need to give me some black eyed peas. They're not quite on the uh, diet plan, but eh, we do it in moderation. We should be all right. Uh, you ready for New Year's football? I bet you are, man. He's uh, Who are they rooting for? So Tony is a Bama. Ooh, okay. Ew. <laughs> yep. It's fine. We so, got... and he lives in Ohio, so he's like a nut roll died. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Rolling nuts. Yeah, it's gonna be bubbly. Uh, oh, the square one with the ridges. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's a good one too. Um, I think it's pan. I, we've got it? a. It was really thin. Woo. We've got a ridge pan, and it just. We might uh, need a I use it a bit, but not not like an all the time thing. You know, I think Do it mainly for griddling, like chicken and stuff. Oh, Bo Nickel, how you doing, brother? He's up out of Cleveland. Just scored a three notch eight bass, large bass pan. Ooh man, that's a nice one. I know exactly which one you're talking about too. That's a good one. It's steamy. Yep. So she went ahead and screwed up my 
my breakfast, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I kind of want it in one of the. <laughs> yeah, I, want, I wanted a Grogu one. Way to go, Pete. But it's all right. Uh, so yesterday I had my uh, second infusion. Um, it was a long day at the hospital, that's for sure. Yeah, but they left, they left at what? What time do you guys leave in the morning? We we left before eight o'clock in the morning. And I didn't get back until at least five. Yeah. Um, my I had to do blood work and then we had to do uh do the office visit. And then we did and then it was like three and a half hours until I got in and do the infusion. And uh I mean it is what it is. The time we got done with that and got home it was five o'clock, four thirty, five o'clock. Um but that all went well. Had a nice romantic dinner with my wife at the uh, cafeteria there at the hospital. Aww. So, yep, That's yep, so yep. Calzone and diet coke, you know. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> the basic way to food live. ingredients. Yep, we did. We did kind of go a little healthy though. We got the the mushroom and spinach calzone, you know. Is that keto? Hell no. <laughs> it wasn't even close. Hey, Maybe the insides would have been, but I ate the whole <laughs> darn. Th- I was hungry. Well, yeah, you went in hospital. For and then I, hours. then I went up. And we sat in the waiting room, and I took a nap in the waiting room. Mm. I Dad, woke you up. Do that. I you woke up right nap. before they called my name. Dad, you took a nap in in um Beckley, West Virginia's Kia car dealership. Yeah. And your pajamas. The only time yeah. you got up is when they said we needed a new motor in the car. Yep. Uh, oh, Stephen, my brother. Oops, I about knocked over the whole gosh darn thing. I about took out. I about hot. took out the whole live stream. Uh, Stephen finally made it. There you go. Good fun. afternoon, brother. How you doing? Going down. He says, "Happy holidays." And hi, gang. So, yeah. So, we are. The kiddos are. are have a friend over and they're teaching her how to make pancakes. Not kiddos. I. Well, it's all this. We have a friend over. Sent out a package to the cave. If you don't see it in a couple days, I'll track it. Okay, cool. Cool. But who said that? James. 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 Dutchie. Dutchie. More and more cubs every day. <laughs> There's your statement. The family's getting bigger. Yep. The friend, we keep having more friend bears over. Yeah. It's yeah. like one one had to be the, the guinea pig, and then they're like, oh, that was really fun. And then another one says, oh, well, I need to be on it. And then no, it just um, keeps going on and on. So, funny yeah. story of this this one. Um, I texted them and then, like this morning. And I said, hey, we texted your mom. Asked if you'd come over. We got a text back. I said, hey, you get to come. She's like, okay, let me go get Betty. I said, hey, we're on the way. So it was very fast and active, but she's going to get up for what? 20 minutes? 15. 15. Mm -hmm. I I literally just woke up for 15 minutes, and then she texts, I'm on the way. And you didn't even get coffee yet? No, no. There's coffee made. You didn't tell me that. I didn't ask that. I just made it. I said I needed coffee. If you want coffee, go get it. plain black coffee. Okay. If you could fill me up while you're in there. (laughs) (laughs) Watch watch the cables. All right. Do you know coffee mugs are? So coffee run, that's awesome. Uh, So what's Pay making? She was... Microwave. She okay. was trying to make me a use that gingerbread chihuahua bread, uh, batter, and I was hoping she'd make me a couple of, like little uh, Star Wars skillet uh, pancakes. And well, no, I get that. It's gonna be a creep. Well, it's a creep, that's for sure. It's <laughs> creepy. Whatever. <laughs> so. But yeah, so we got the infusion done yesterday. Um, got back, pretty wore out just because it was a long day. And uh, get a call this morning from the uh, hospital, and they they needed more blood work, so I got to go in this afternoon for more blood work. They had a couple things were like uh, 
what what do you call them? Things of interest. Yeah. So we got some uh, some history diving to do with the ants and uh, family history, medical stuff, and uh, see what's what's possibly going on. But uh, all the other than that, I mean, everything else was great. He was pretty happy. Um, switched up the meds a little bit just because uh, uh, having a few of the side effects, just a couple of mild side effects. But I don't know about uh, Dutchy only tuned in for the uh, ooh, that was wrong wrong thing. Where'd it go? <laughs> there it is. Only tuned in for the Star Wars pancakes. Thank you. So we need to we need to show me your skillet, Cub. Mine? Show them the the Star Wars skillet. They're hot. Yeah, Dutchy wants Dutchy's he's looking for the whole pancake, but you uh, you guys are taking too damn long. Um, taking too language. long. And these two. Yep. So there's a Darth Vader one, and then the uh, Grogu, and then there's the Grogu one in the middle, which is just a nonstick pan. No. I actually used that with my uh, niece, and she loved it, so I left her with one. So you guys ready to make pancakes or what? What are we doing here? Our studio audience is getting hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. The service at this place, man, it's going downhill. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> Kay was playing. Okay. Kay was playing coffee shop this morning. Oh. And she was running the whole thing by herself, and trying to unload the truck. Okay, so there was people, want, oh, people being disgruntled about their uh, not getting coffee on time. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the ones who order fancy ones. Um, are those lodge handle mitts? Yep, that they are. I like those ones. Um, majority of the time, though, I, I forget where they're at, and then I have to use my t shirt or towel or something like that. I had no idea what you're talking about. Never watched our. Dutchy, you've never seen Star Wars? You can leave Dutchie. now. Dutchy! Whoa. Oh. You were doing so good, man. Even this one seems so. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad you Star Wars. Well, shoot, Dutchy. It was nice knowing you. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, now. No. Like, dude. It's, oh, like, literally. It, it's okay, man. Me. Not everybody's a Star Wars fan. Uh, no, everybody has to. We, we would rather a Star Wars fan than Trekkie. Yeah, that's true. As long as you don't like track your Oh, so your mom also says you're a psychopath. Uh, I got a few mitts, and they turned my panhandled silver washed or new. Yeah, I've had no, no. Um, I've had that happen if I leave them on. Wait. Um, I was talking about your because it like pulls the seasoning off of it, and I don't know what the deal is. So I use them very. Intermittently, just while I'm grabbing the handle and pulling them off. Um, I don't ever leave it on, but um, I don't ever leave it on the handle. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know who that was. I think it's, you get the spam thing, and then you click on it, and it's like nudies or something. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Why are you talking about those? It's a it's a spam comment. Oh, spam. Yeah. What was the spam comment? It was a link. Yeah, it was a link to, to something. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't click yeah. the link. <laughs> no. no, don't click the yeah. link. The hot, Peyton. Oh, no, click the link. The links are? No. No. <laughs> the cash oh, iron pan. I was going to say, whoa. whoa. You guys shouldn't be even looking at that stuff. <laughs> Ring bear's about to fall out. Oh, my God. Yeah, when this one starts laughing, their eyes so Dutchie's not even watched the Trekkies. Okay, well, cool. You guys got Doctor Who over over there. Am I wrong? You watched the you watched the Doctor Who. I was trying to watch that. And I there was it Doctor was good. Who like okay, yeah. but I don't know. it was okay. There were certain times where it changed the changed doctors. Yeah, and then it just kind of lost me. But yeah, I never got into Doctor Who. Yeah, so. I like the TARDIS though. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Russian spam bot, yeah, Charlie. That's what that was. I get. I've been getting a lot of those. 
Hey, so, so I don't know if you guys knew. Um, so I was talking with Corey last night from uh, Cooking with Corey, and he was telling me about this uh, website. Now I forget the name of the website. I'm completely drawing a blank. Oh. Anyway, what it did was uh, never watch that when I was a kid. Spent too much time hiding behind the couch. <laughs> Um, but this website, it, it shows you, like, you type in a channel name, and it shows you all their analytics. Oh. Hey, and I'm going to hey, make us some moves. Social Blade. Blade. Dot com. Socialblade.com. So then you type in the channel name, and it'll show you all their analytics, yeah. and even, oh. like, how much they, they made. It's kind of neat. Oh. Okay. And it gives you, like, an overall um, ranking, yeah. like your channel ranking. Yeah. And even though Corey's got like twice as oh, two and a half times more subscribers, yeah, we were the same channel ranking. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, hey, yeah, mm, this is my birthday. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> never seen Doctor Who, but oddly, my oldest is named Colin Baker, and they have the same birthday as the one. Ooh. Mm, very interesting. So, do they have a blue card, a blue and white card named TARDIS? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> All right, Peggy, you about ready? How, how are we doing over there? I'm waiting for Peggy to give me some room so I can flip them. Um, well, your pancake looks done. Yeah, like not what I wanted. How, how, does, how does the other ones look? All bubbly? Yeah, we're going to flip them. Okay, okay. Peggy can get. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What? What? I want to see. I want to see the flip. Oh. That's the whole reason why I set up the second camera. But it looks all wonky. Stop. Oh Jesus, This is why you use baking grease instead of spray butter. Oh. Well, here, let me fix it. Give me an egg. Ta-da. You tried, Bear. <laughs> oh, Julie's in. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hey, Julie. Uh, yes, the, yes, uh, it's the, the TARDIS is a blue police phone box. <laughs> Julie, my adorable sister. So what's new, Julie? Now you have an egg basket, so it looks intentional. Oh, good idea, Pay. I don't know what you're going to do with it now, but <clears throat> it's almost like you need to cook them a little bit longer and maybe spray them a bit better. Well, that one we didn't spray because it was nonstick. Well, you still got to spray it because you see what sick. happens. It looks good at the bottom. Yeah, the looks bottom good. looks good. Charlie, he's already in. He said, what happened this morning? It's a train wreck. I just got here. We'll just say that. I I didn't take leave. So. And Pay's here, and it's a train wreck. I just managed to walk Pay's going to make it better. <laughs> I don't know how. We hope that she makes it better. I, I think she just needs to cook them a little bit longer. Although that, the grog, the the okay. Yeah, the bottom of the Grogu looks pretty good. I burnt me kingdom. James, how are you doing? Alright. Let me take a crack at it. Yep, Julie says Charlie be nice. Yes, Julie, get on him. He bullies me. Charlie could be be a little bit of a bully. Although Grandpa likes likes it when Charlie chimes in, I will say that. We were watching a video from the other day, and uh, I said, yeah, that's Charlie. And he just laughed every time he said something. Three James is in here. That's all right. We'll take him. Hmm. Let's see. You, you getting it figured out, Payne? 
I'm thinking. Maybe don't put as much in so they're a little thinner. Add a little bit more. Okay. And then you might have to swoosh it around, like, the tilt it so it runs. Also bowl in it too. Yeah. Because what I found with the other one was you had to kind of put just enough in there to do a thin coat on the bottom. Yeah. What's happening with the BBQ talk show? You know, I don't know what's going on with that one. Um, I haven't uh, talked to them. I haven't seen those guys in quite a while. Uh, okay. Charlie says, don't stress your brain too much there. Did that one come out decent? I mean, it came out whole. Oh. Well, okay. So let's, let's, let's back out of that one. There we go. There. Now everybody can see. It doesn't look like the big train wreck. <laughs> I brought my finger. What's that say? Let's all buy Charlie a case of Broke Lucky down. Charms. Yeah. Oh, Lucky Charms. Case of Lucky Charms. Not oh, Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. I, <know. laughs> I thought I thought that was like slang for like a cuss word or something. Yeah, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I think Charlie needs a, a big case of the bay. Ooh. Now, them, them is fight words. No, everything Charlie's been saying the last couple of lives, those are fight words. Oh. Charlie, did you get off on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I know, right? They look good. I have a big boob. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys might find this as funny as I did. <clears throat> So I go in to get blood work done yesterday, right? And uh, the nurse was like, you know, what's your arm? I was like, ah, whichever one, doesn't matter. And she goes, ooh, you got good veins. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and I was like, really? She goes, yep, I like this one right here. And she's like patting on my on my on the vein on my arm. And then she's like, it's popping up already. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I was like. Okay, then she yeah. broke out the rubber band and tied it around my arm. To... Are kid. we talking about blood work or are we talking about other things? Oh, it was all blood work. <laughs> okay. It, it was all blood work. There's this kid in our... In our, our A bunch of dirty birdies. Just about right. popping up and yeah. rubber and you know, yep, all that yep. together. You know? A bunch of dirty birdies. Okay, okay, okay. I redeemed myself. It's like the TikTok thing. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Charlie says that's just his nature to be a... Dirty. An air hole. Oh. oh. Why don't we just call it an AirPod? <laughs> just... Speaking of AirPods, I found one in under Peyton's seat. I didn't know who that is. So uh... You remember with Peyton. And, um... You lost an AirPod. Hey, how's it? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Dude, I don't even want to know. I don't even know who's been. I don't even want to know why there would be kind of junk. I don't know. Anyway, James says uh, food looks great. We need smell of vision. Smell of vision. It, it smells really hot. Like yeah, it's pretty hot and humid down here. No reason. Yeah, so it's pretty hot in the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, Jennifer says Brian behaved. So we have somebody calling out our studio guest studio audience. Ooh, is that all? Behave. Oh, Julie, you gotta love Captain Grumpy Pants. <laughs> um, that was a good one. I like that one. I'm gonna toss a salmon and salt and sugar today and do a smoked Novelox on Friday. Attention, no, it's, um, no, it's not. It's not yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, Charlie, I did see, I, I sent it to the girls last night, that you actually cooked dinner, took a picture, yeah. and sent it on. Oh, he did send me that. I was so proud. In on my Instagram. head, I said, go, little fox, star. So, Charlie.
Charlie used to do videos. No, because And then he stopped doing videos and started start doing like, lives because he could drink beer. No. And then he, he would drink beer until his box ran out. And then and then they'd be eight, twelve hours long. Wow. And uh he needs to drink beer faster. Well <laughs> he gets to talking. After he gets so far in, he just gets to talking and forgets he's got beer. So he would go until he emptied the box. Well then he stopped doing videos and so they they kind of give him a bunch of static. So he posted a video a while back on Instagram, just a little clip of what he made. So I said that counts, but no everybody else in the chat said no it didn't. So now when they're like, well, Charlie can't cook, I'm like, no, he does. Look, he sends stuff on Instagram. Okay, Dad, but he hasn't posted a video in like... Bam, he's 37. Bam. Ew. Yeesh. Mm, that looks uncolored. Bam. It's like you tried a color match. No, that reminds me of Macy. It looks good, though. Why is me and Macy? We should try to do um, spray tan. Y'all ain't do no good. I don't do spray tan. Charlie says he still does videos, but he doesn't edit them. You don't have to edit them. You don't have to put uncut. Directors version. Yeah. Pickles. Funny. Pickles uh, unfiltered. Like, yeah. he's fil- like he's filtered anyway? Well, if he's posting it for like somebody to actually watch, like search a, an Instapot. So if he's watching for, looking for, trying to share a recipe for Instapot, then yeah, you'd have to be a little censored. He's got to film the uh, salmon and salt and sugar. Mm. Doing a smoked Novolox, Novolox, Novolox. Yeah. Friday. That does sound good. Never had it, or maybe I've had it and not known what it was. Yeah, that could be. That could be. That looks good. I have fourteen videos or so to edit. Dang. Okay, well you can have one. Of you, you can open a beer and have. Sit down and actually do it. Well, so so he does the whole thing where he's got to import it from his camera to the computer, I get then that. open up all the the tabs for he, the he, camera thing. You have to persevere to do it, or else. Persevere. <laughs> no. No. Uh, persevere is like. Language arts is not our strong suit. <laughs> no, it's getting, not. Persevere is like getting on a bike after you. Yeah, you have to like, like four years. You gotta get trying it. Free stock. Hey, you. Oh, Julie made pickles using Charlie's video. Oh. Um, we are gonna try his peanut butter. Who? Charlie made peanut butter video where he made peanut like actual peanut raw peanut butter from raw peanuts. <laughs> and uh, so I was talking to him about using um, like just like. Store bought honey roasted peanuts or something like that, it does. and uh, making a peanut butter with it. Oops! Charlie's gonna make it a New Year's resolution to post. No, he's not. I mean, he does on he does on Instagram, and I think it counts. But it doesn't count that. So does pickles like like pickles? No, he got the name because oh. he his, like when he was a baby, his dad said his hands smell like pickles. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a weird name. I thought, and he what had, if he doesn't like pickles? And at he all? had neon green poop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. <laughs> Hoping to cook a chicken on the new Traeger. How's how is that Traeger running? He got a Dad, bunch of, these are not working at all. Well they're not you're not letting them cook long enough. Turn your heat up a little bit. Not on turn it up to like a just under medium. All right, James. Have a great week, buddy. See you, James. Have a have a great new year. And uh, well, if it sounds like fun, do it. Do it. Just don't get arrested. Don't get caught. <laughs> Nothing good happens after twelve. Especially on New Year's. Very true. My grandpa used to always tell my dad and, and us grandkids that uh, nothing good happened after midnight. So think about it, that's right. usually when you got in trouble. Yeah, bar fights and yeah, uh, when the bar closed and uh, rounding up the chickies. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Jules, that's what he said two years ago. Mike Montoya, how are you doing, my Hi, friend? Mike. Hi, Mike. 
I haven't seen you or heard from you in quite a while, brother. How are you doing? He's out in 29 Palms, out in the desert. Ooh. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Oh, GT's in, too. <laughs> Hi, GT. Gary. Hi, G. Gary's in. How are you doing, Gary? Hope all is well up your way. I see Lewis is really cranking out some TikTok videos. There at uh, our shack Barbecue. Wait, who's Lewis? Lewis at our shack Barbecue. He, okay. lives, he lives right there by... Uh, by GT. Oh, uh, so y'all bud. Y'all neighbor. <laughs> We're trying to make these Star Wars pancakes, but... It, it, it We're failing. Because the batter sucks. Well, no, yes, the batter does suck, but... It's a but it, you, you almost have to do it really you thin. You made the batter. Really thin so you can swash around and then it gets awesome. cooked right. Yeah. So Gary says, hey all, I'm hanging in. Good, brother. Good. I keep looking for your new video, man. Dad, where's our new video? Wham, bam, thank you, man. I, we're doing one. I'm looking at, I'm, I was talking with Corey. I think we're going to start doing either shorts or videos after the first year. Try to get in at least once a week doing something like that. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Just just do like a little short or something like that. and then I, I think can, we should install an overhead fan. No. Yeah. Yeah, he does a ton. It seems like he's posting like every other. I mean, I get on there. I try to get on in at night when I'm trying to lay down. But uh, Carrie sends me stuff all the time. Carrie, with VA chick off road. Okay. She sends me out stuff. Her and her and Corey send me stuff all the time. I remember Corey. I have a neon green shirt. Neon orange shirt says kick Corey's asshole. Yep, yep. Hey, we, were talking, school, we were talking last night, and we're going to have to get together and do a collab and, uh, you know, do another video collab. It says hashtag kick Corey's asshole. slowing down, too. Yeah, man, he got he got to working a ton. And, uh, I mean, he was working about six, seven days a week and just 12 hours, 12 to 16 hours a day. So he really got hammered with uh, work. He's trying to get back into it, though. And I try to break the dress code. Uh, I think if we cut Alex and Dennis and Bryson. He did a live a couple weeks ago. And, like, I kind of missed out on it because I just laid down when he went on. Yeah, neither do I. Oh, here we go. There you go, Charlie. I don't think Charlie makes videos anymore. Wow. Oh! Everybody's calling him out. They, it's like they, they know he's going to be here, so they have to jump on just to yeah. be static. Yeah. Charlie, you got to make a whole bunch of videos now. We well, said it's got 14 of them. You just got to edit them. You know, you could do like, you could do like pickles unfiltered, like uh, Papa Texas does. Mm. So one guy, Papa Texas, he's got like I don't know seven channels. Yeah. But it's all Papa Texas something. Papa Texas unfiltered. Papa Texas unrated. <laughs> Papa Texas. Uh, look at look at it. Oh, oh that's I've been busy at work, and Camera Girl has men sick. Oh, has been sick, I think. Yeah, been sick. Yeah, I hope you get back up soon. If you don't know who they are, yeah, give my best to Camera Girl. Give her some uh, vitamin C, some vitamin D, and a high five from us. Uh, how am I holding up? Um, doing pretty good. Getting some mild, um, well, getting some side effects, but nothing that's you know keeping me completely down. Um, just had the second infusion yesterday, so I got to go in for blood work this afternoon. In about an hour and a half, um, they found something in the blood work. They're not sure. It raised the flag, but it, they're they're not sure that right. what it is yet. So they're looking into that. Um, side effects, you know, kind of mild. A lot of achiness, a lot of tired. Um, they're kind of looking at maybe. I, I guess it's what arthritis feels like. Um, so I don't know if they have a if it's a precondition or something, but they're going to look at stuff like that. So. 
So we're doing more more blood work. Uh, with this immunotherapy, it can it it'll basically it's like your immune system on on uh, energy drink. So it works harder, and sometimes it can work harder than what your body wants to work, and that can cause some side effects. So that's. Charlie says he comes here for the food and stays for the results. I think insults. Insults. Probably insults. Insults. I'm telling you, man, my dyslexia is <laughs> on point today. I don't know if it's the uh, uh, if it's that or his eyesight, one of them. But we like the jokes. We like the comedy and going at each other. So. He said, "Yeah, been sick." Yeah. Hope you feel better. We'll be a good patient and do what they tell you. Yeah, man, that's that's been it. And uh, you know, I've been noticing my sugar levels been run, riding a lot higher. So it, it doesn't matter what I eat. So um, we we just schedule an appointment. We got a call in to schedule an appointment with like a new nutritionist and be like, hey, I mean. I can eat eggs and sausage and my sugar still goes up. So, uh, this. All right, Gina Gallery. All right, the dyslexia. As atheist, don't believe in God. Dyslexic atheists don't believe in God. I don't know what that means, GT, but. What do you say? Dyslexia. Atheist. Don't believe in dog. Don't believe in dog? Dog. Like a dog. Yeah. Or is a dog the bounty hunter? Okay. Okay. Let's Maybe. Um, okay. A dyslexic. That's a word, right? Yeah. Atheists don't believe in God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Boy, you really had me confused. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I had this like, what? Peyton's the smart one around here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the smartest here. Well, at least two pancakes are recognizable. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah? So I, I should I should change this over to uh, the the junkyard pancakes. Because <laughs> that one pile looks like a big like yeah. pile, pile of the junkyard. It's not even tan. Hey. GT says, way to go, Pay. You figured it out. We're figuring it out. No, I'm talking about the comment. Oh, I'm yeah, the, the comment. <laughs> yeah, he. Man, I was I was lost on that one. GT, I was lost too. The one time I read something right, look what happened. <laughs> GT, next time we got to read it. You got to go slow for us because we didn't get it. <laughs> Remember, we grew up with Snoop Dogg, so Dog has two G's. <laughs> uh, Jennifer says the pancake graveyard. Yeah. It's where pancakes go, go to, to die. Go to die. The comment, obviously, not the pancake. <laughs> um, well, so, you know, you guys, I said it before, you guys come here to learn what not to do. <laughs> so if I was, like, really making a video on this, I would have deleted everything. <laughs> hey, we're glad the girls are doing this because if me and him were doing this, oh man, it'd be a, more of a train wreck. Yipper. So they're doing better oh, than we would. Hey, have. show that one. Look at it. You can't see it. Okay. Look at it. And that one's pretty good. Yep, that's a thumbnail one. Put that on a different plate. I know. You're right, Dutchie. Edit, 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 edit. <laughs> edit, edit, edit. The shoes of my Caucasians. Woo! Yeah, only the people that grew up probably in the 90s and stuff know Snoop Dogg from rapping and not from smoking weed and other things. And, and Soda Stream. Oh, yeah. He's on Soda Stream and he had that Martha Stewart thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm old school to remember when his album came out. Yeah, well, Grandpa <laughs> last night was like, 
whoever liked his music, I said, well, I liked his first album. And it went downhill after that. Grogu. Grogu, right. yeah. <laughs> so, a uh, cast iron fact of the day. Peyton, you need to move. Um, Do not touch a hot pan barehanded. That's my fact. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> That's more of a PSA. Like, oh, public yeah, service now. Yeah. Um, I know. Leave it to them because they do not the put your cast iron in the dishwasher. Where are you going? Use the fork, buddy. I had somebody somebody send me a comment said, "Can you can you put your cast iron in the dishwasher?" And I said, "Well, technically you can." Yeah. Oh my god. You just have to. I sent a video of this one putting and it in the reseason it afterwards. Yeah. Can we uh, Mike from uh, Mr. Cast Iron. Mm. He showed what happens with a brand new skillet during the dishwasher. Yeah. Pulled it out and showed all the fly thrust and then how to reseason it. Cast yeah. iron fact of the day. No, it's not ready. Well, it is a fact that these kids aren't really doing a good job at uh, these little pans. Yeah. I'll show how long you I look to them. Um. Okay. 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 I'll have both. For the okay, big okay. one, I use the Okay. Cast. So here's a cast iron fact. The um. Some of y'all know the um. Some of the the the, the pans that are W A P A K. They you hear a couple of them call them wave hacks. Those are actually Wapaks, Wapakoneta, Ohio, and uh, you know it's from the Indian tribe, named after the, the town's named after the Indian tribe up there. So whenever you hear somebody say Waypack, that's wrong. It's Wapak. Yes, interesting fact, which is only about, um, I'd say about thirty or forty minutes, maybe, maybe an hour outside of Sydney. Which is where Wagner was, and then it is so uh, smoky in here. It's really hot. We'll open the door a little more. Um, yep, so Jennifer said her college roommate was from Wapakoneta. Yep, and then you had um, Faye Wright, uh was in Piqua, which is about uh, 15 20 minutes south of Sydney. So, how's that? How, how was that, Charlie? Is that a decent one? There was a cool video taken from the inside of a dishwasher. That was not mm. good Oh, that's a good Bye. one, Pickles. That's a good one. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, I, I stopped putting knives in the dishwasher. I, that's a hard habit to break my wife of and the kids. I only, I only I put steak so. knives in there. So they they have a tendency of leaving uh leaving them in the sink. Yeah, I try. So then the blades get all banged up. And then I'll I'll come in. I'm like to fill up my water jug. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what is this? <laughs> yeah. That's not too bad. Or um, like every now and again I'll find one in the dishwasher. I agree, James. I agree. Yep. And I have to laugh because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be like, you know, encouraging that. I mean, I, I laugh because I'm like, these guys have no clue. Uh, hand wash only. Yep. That one's hard. That one's hard yep. to get to the I hand wash all my cast iron, obviously. Use buzzy wax base seasoning and conditioner for a long time search. Yep. It's beeswax. 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 So I use buzzy wax. Okay. Um, they're out of North Carolina. They're up around Asheville. Okay. So they're semi-local. Um, the beeswax actually comes from North yeah, Carolina, like up around right. Huntington. Hmm. Or Huntersville, I'm sorry. You should be able to and so, I, I so that's, that's why I really like them. Like so I started using them, and I fell in love with them. I really like it. So, if it, if it comes up but like yes, that, beeswax is, is fantastic for, look at that you know, hanging them up on the wall that and all that stuff. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that is a good one. Yeah. It won't let me do picture in picture. There it is. There it is. We can see it. Woo! All right. Cool, man. Didn't know about 
Wolf way back. <laughs> yeah, well, Puck, it's, it's one of those things that um, that you, you, you pick up on when you're living there, you know. Yeah. Uh, that part of Ohio's got such an Indian and Native American uh, heritage, roots. Um, you know, then somebody comes out like that and it, you know, they, they don't know because they're not from that area. Yeah, oh. It'd be like them mispronouncing ah, Comanche with you know, Comanchio or something. Comanchio. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, that was a good tip, James. That was a, a okay. fantastic tip. Because we do got some people that are, we do got people that are getting go. cast iron and they're refinishing them and then they're hanging them on the wall. It did come out very beautiful, Jennifer. Ah, yeah. Awesome ah, cooking with Stefan. Steven. Uh, Steven. No, no and Jackie. Awesome. You are. Jacqueline's, Jacqueline's his daughter. Jacqueline. She's what probably, one, I don't know what she's doing. She's not doing homework today, that is she? Oh, there's a Grogu. Ooh. We have that one. We have this one. One out of 38 uh, works. Look, <laughs> <laughs> like, Faye. Whatever. It's, it's like just... he's surrounded by asteroids and space debris. <laughs> <laughs> we agree, Pippo. We agree. Oh. Thank you for sharing that. Found a Wapak Dutch oven with the Emmy head a while back. Okay. Never seen another. Like, what's Dude, your those ones are amazing. Like, which one? Hey, James, maybe you can find that um, Dutch oven. Maybe you can find it online, and but hopefully it's not too expensive. And too well, he he collects them. Oh, and, and he resells. So he's he's already found one. That's what he's saying. But like those skills are. Yay! Those skillets are like sought after. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got a guy I work with. He's like a quarter Indian. So he's really looking for that skillet. But the price tags he's found on one is yeah. outrageous. Supply and demand. That should be not true. Jacqueline's on school days. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. It's hot, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You laughed at me when I burned my finger. That you is a bang. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a good thing you signed the waiver. <laughs> he, he went and get the waiver. Nah, he's signing the adjustment. It is hot again. All right. All right, GT, have a great one, buddy. Have a happy new uh, year. See you, GT. Have a good day. Bye, GT. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I agree. Where'd the what go? A cook. There it is. I don't know. One sec. That one doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. So we're starting to get the hang of it. Yeah. It's just the Darth Vader. That, the Broke, or the um, Goku. That one's good to use. Just not for nails. Those are hard to use. Why don't you yeah. use the? Why don't you use the mitt that she has in her hand? Why don't you use the pot holder behind you? I thought it's more. That one's not ready. A thicker one. That's not ready. I'm gonna put it. That's not. It is. Can you trust the process? Yeah, James. I sure will, man. I'm I'm looking forward to to trying it because I haven't tried anything other than. I went from Crisco to canola, straight canola to Buzzy Wax, and that's all I've used since then. There you go. Is canola and, and Buzzy Wax. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Trust the process. You don't have a face. I don't have a face. I didn't even get tan, you see? It didn't leave in long enough. Yeah. Waver. Don't forget, I, you also have other pancakes on the. He says waver. I barely even know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting a joke. Pickles, you can be demoted off the island. We don't have an island. We have bear camp. You're going to find a couple of nice ones there for the. Uh, That's Peyton. For the plating. Well, there's one over there. And then set that broke one away. You just put down. You can do it. Come on. Get back in here, Bobby. So I noticed you're using the baking grease. What do you think of that? Does that work good? Yes. 
works better than the spray. That's what I like to hear. And I have a video on how to save your bacon grease. Oh, it's a, it's a whole process. It's a whole I process. just haven't just, like edited it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's so actually on my. Huh? You made that? Yeah. It's bake. It saves bacon grease, so we cook oh. bacon, strain it, and then put it in the jar. I got a whole process. I got a video on it that's about to be edited in like next month. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as Pay figures out how to upload from my old phone. To my new phone but, yeah that's so instead of throwing away the baking grease you save it and use it for butter like I actually started a second jar so i, I, I keep one out here and i keep one in the house mm -hmm. i have never thought about that oh now you're seeing the the joy of it it works the yeah. joy the joy yeah you always wonder how mom how grandma's food come out so good <laughs> out of the blue it was just out of the blue no it's fine <laughs> yeah uh, i got a feeling uh, i missed something completely um. oh <laughs> <laughs> well you still wondered <laughs> now you know <laughs> okay how's the thing you come in how you come in uh. Well, you did it again there, Patty. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, but I didn't know that she was used to it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, so we have to do this. She's got the giggles now. Probably. Now the secret's out. <laughs> How much battery y'all have left? That's it. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Uh, um, we can do another All right, Charlie. Yeah, I... I, I they just they were kind of like hinting around so i, I apologize mm -hmm. huh? but now you know the secret yep oh look Ooh. at that one that looks good i can't even see that one because it's on the other thing That's no. the oh oh y'all got a mess to clean up hang on mess to clean up I don't clean the cash out. Yep. Are you going to add this to the batter in that one? Oh. Mm -hmm. Now we'll the thing at? Over beside the, beside the bowl where you put it. Beside no, the you don't need to grease it every time. Have you ever had those sausage strips? Oh, oh the, um. No, you can. That's what do they call it? The, the sausage yeah. bacon? Oh. You know where they got the sausage cutting strips? And stuff oh, like? yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them, but the uh, food line down the store or down the, down the, store. Down the road, down the way, um, they wanted like six bucks for not even half or about half pound. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no, not so much. So I kind of let them go. Not much. If you want to go, but if I, pancakes, whatever ones, like, I haven't even, I haven't there. been to a Walmart for a while to even look. Well, I'll probably keep. I might just use the thumbnail that I used for. What's everybody's favorite breakfast food? Mm. Anybody have a good favorite one? Favorite what? Breakfast, breakfast food. Um, hot pockets. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. What? Yeah. He said breakfast food. Do you want to have a breakfast food? That breakfast they have breakfast omelet. ones. Yeah. I they have, have eggs and sausage. Yeah. Yes, bro. I would say omelet. I like a good quiche. Why? Yeah, you do like quiche. Yeah, we don't make it that often. We need to make it more. Yeah, well, we're the only ones really who like quiche. Yeah, but I have like to do it outside because Mama won't let me run the Dutch oven inside anymore. Hmm. Wonder why? Yeah, they can't see that. Good thing. Breakfast burritos. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Sausage bacon. Mmm. Like sausage and bacon, or is there something sausage I'm missing bacon. that's like the bacon strips of sausage, like the sausage strips? And we got eggs Benedict, eggs which Benedict. I agree with. That is good. I just add some. I've never made eggs Benedict. Well, 
Oh, I know somebody that can make some good. Like, the, the hollandaise is what kind of gets me because I, I'm not very good at that kind of uh, stuff. Yep, but it's sausage. Yep. Oh, we just lost that one. That's okay. This one's good. Your yeah, your phone overheated. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so we lost the other camera because the phone overheated. Imagine that. That's why. Does smell kind of burning. It's everything else that's on the bakery. There's a piece oh, of paper. On that. SOS. Man, now you talking my language. That's Woo. shit on a shanker. Broke. Well, what? but you, you like the, you like the hamburger you like, gravy? You like, yeah, but I don't like, you like sausage gravy? Yeah, then that's oh, a good I, choice, James. That's a good choice. Yes. I do like I, I do I like me some, some SOS, some biscuits and gravy. Breakfast jerky. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, uh, breakfast in jerky. In I had it so much. I love I biscuits and gravy. Yeah. TJ's so, Family Restaurant has really good biscuits and gravy. Oh, they have a, so really there's um, the challenge for January for Cast Iron Wednesday mm -hmm. is biscuits and gravy. Mm. Oh, okay. So we probably will do a keto version. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might just do a couple shot, like a big shot of insulin, and just say to hell with it. And just make, <laughs> <laughs> make some real biscuits and gravy. Uh, I make a good rip off of steak and eggs on a cheese bagel. Flip it. Mm. Yeah. See how good it turns out. Are you getting the bubbles? The last one. Woo! That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> Bagel and cream cheese, tomato, cucumber, and capers? Now you're talking yeah. my language. Well, you lost me after the cream cheese. <laughs> what? Why? Cucumber on a bagel? And tomato. Yeah, what? Paper. I could see a tomato, but I could see a tomato slice, but. You haven't had it. It's really. Because cucumber is literally water. It's a water. Yeah, thing, so... I, I don't like the cucumber burps. Well, I don't get the cucumber burps. Hey, come, go ahead and, go ahead and cut that burner up. It's just starting to burn up. And then chuck yeah. them. Wait, hey, turn off the thing. Just turn the gas turn off. Turn the gas off and turn the burners on. So we are out of batter. The last two are burning. Okay, now you're good. Right. Got them both off? That's all. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, this this boy is good. All right, you ready? Oh yeah. Hey, come on, you gotta do the thing with us. So we're gonna get up out of here. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We we, we got really, a couple more words, and we really enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, you ready? Did you have fun? Did it taste good? good? Rock on. You guys are awesome. We'll see you all next week. See you guys. Thank you for joining us. Have a great week, everybody. James, that sounds great. I'm going to have to use that one. You can touch with your hand. Oh, Craig from behind the garage just showed up as we're leaving. Bye, Craig. Have a great one, Craig.